Hello, Randy Rain here. Last time on Randy's Robot Refurbish, I did the Rad Robot. Well, I've got another Rad Robot. Skaters say Rad, right? Well, this is the Skatebot from Playtime Productions. So, let's get grinding. That's a skate term, right? Well, this is... Randy's Robot Refurbish! Well, we've got the Skatebot from Playtime Productions from 1986. Now, it's not working, but this should be an easy one. It needs a battery door. Psh, need to fix the battery leads inside. Psh, piece of cake. There's a broke screw connection up top. Psh, and it's also missing its clear face dome up here. Eh, so that's going to be a little tricky. But I have a plan. You're going to like this. Check this out. Now it's supposed to have a dome on its face here. It's the exact same shape of head as the music bot. Put together a little different, but it's still the same shape. So I'm going to try to use the clear plastic piece to make one work. So I need to start with the battery door. I already 3D printed one out. It works perfectly, but I don't want it to be made out of the ABS laminated layers like this. It's very thin. It could easily pull these flaps off. So I'm going to cast this. So I need to get this piece stuck down to this wood, but I don't want to glue this one. So what I'm going to do is take some clay and spread it out extremely thin. Then I'm going to take some more of the clay and spread it out very thin on the bottom here. Now I should be able to stick it down. Wiggle it back and forth. And that should be stuck. Go ahead and take the clay off around it. Now I'll take some clay Now the rest of it I want to use to fill up this plastic face dome from the music bot. Now I'm just going to take a piece of construction paper and I'm going to put it on top here and I'm going to let it touch the silicone and I'm going to let the silicone cure onto that piece of paper. You'll see why soon enough. So while that's curing, let's start taking this little guy apart. And on this one there's five rusty head screws. The part where this screw goes into has broken off. I have to fix that. So here's a problem. This robot is completely glued together, except for his head. Now there is a screw down here that may separate these two pieces, but I can't get a screwdriver to there. There's some screws down here on the bottom, and if I take those off, all it does is separate this robot. There's still no way to get inside of it. That little dome's going to be tricky, but again, I have a plan. You can see the footprint here. Need to clean this up. This piece pops out. And clean the robot up. 
clean this piece up. So this toy has this little piece here. That piece sets in a slot and that arm rides up against these little notches here. And it goes in like this so it can be slide back and forth and all it is is a set of weights. When it's down here versus it up here it's changing the balance of this thing. So I'm sure that's going to have it do different things. Let's find out what that does. Let's look at the electronics. We have the negative here which looks okay for the most part. Positive is completely broken off. It's completely corroded. The switch looks fine and the motor looks fine. Let's have a look inside here and see what we're looking at. Uh-oh. Look at this gear. It's not cracked all the way to the edge, but it is extremely close. There's another crack on the other side. I want to try heating up this point. And I'm going to try to melt these pieces, this back. Well, as long as the motor runs good, I don't need to get it out of there. So let's have a test. Okay, well, I guess take this thing apart. There's no conductivity through these pieces here going to these brushes. So has to be oxidation. So I'm going with some CLR. Let these soak in there for a little while. While I'm at it, I'm going to put those rusted screws in there. Alright, it's time to give this motor a shot again. for another test. Come on, motor. Hey, there we go. All right, let's work on these battery leads. This one, you just pull this tab up and I should be able to get that out. Yeah, it needs to go in the CLR bath too. See what happens. Ooh, action. This one is fine. This one is gone bad. Oh, well, that was easy. Alright, so I need a piece of brass. That looks good. It's going to be bent over like that. It's going to need to bend like little hump there to make sure it gets connected to the battery. It's a hole right here. Okay, so I need to rip, make a little rivet to go in there. I'm going to take another little piece of this and just going to cut a series of notches down this side. Then I'm going to cut a series of notches on this side as well. Flatten this thing back out. And now I'm going to roll it. So I have a little piece that looks like that. In there like that. I'm going to display all those little pieces here. I need to do it to the other side as well. smash it on that side, smash it on that side. So here's the other battery contacts. Pulled it out of the CLR and it looks a lot better but still some rust on there. 
Okay, well, let's go back to some WD-40. And I've got a pretty aggressive wire brush here. I think that'll work. They need to be pushed out some. And then this piece slides in. Bent over to hold into place. So now the motor goes back in. It went in just like that with the flat spot here to the bottom. I can go ahead and put the back wheels on, close up the gearbox. Okay, so I've got some new wires here. Got a red for the positive. It goes to the positive side, my new terminal. And then this wire goes down here, and the other end connects to the switch. So I gave everything a good cleaning. I can go ahead and put the robot back on the skateboard. There's a screw post here that's broken. I have the piece, so I'm just going to try to use some CA glue and put it back. We'll put some CA glue around it. Hit it with some accelerator. So I'll go ahead and put everything back together. This piece goes in there. I have these little weights that fit in like that. This piece goes like that, I believe. Oh yeah, I gotta put this piece in here. And this goes on top. Now my screws are a little better, not quite as rusty as before. Now to see how well this holds up. That seems pretty good. Alright, the mold is done. Remove this clay. Peel that off. I want to trim back here all the way around because it flares up. Get rid of the flare and now it'll set flat here. Mix some black plastic together. Now it's time to see this battery door. A little sanding. Here we go, one battery door. Well, it works, but I can't play with it just yet. It's still missing its faceplate. I gotta do something about that. Well, I got something that I made about 22 years ago that should work. Let's see it in action. So here we are in the rarely used section of the shop which is the most dirtiest part of the shop. And what you see here is a vacuum form machine that I made about 23 years ago. Up top, this metal piece goes in, holding the plastic in place. A metal funnel gets placed on top. A heat gun goes in here. You can see the vacuum box here. But it can, goes down to this pedal. And when you step on the pedal, you bring the plastic down to the vacuum box, which is where you turn on the vacuum cleaner. And that's how you do vacuum forming. It's not the best one ever created, but you can get it to work. So this is what I'm going to use to try to make that faceplate for the skate bot. This is why I poured silicone into the faceplate that I know that fits that come off the music box. Made sure some construction paper was adhered to the bottom of it. I'm just gonna give it a little trim. And I made two of them. And the paper is so that I can stick some of this double stick tape to it because this tape's not gonna to stick to that silicone. Now I can peel the tape and stick this down. I think I'm gonna stick one of these 
at an angle right there. The other one I'm going to put right here. It's for the plastic. I've got this 16th inch stuff that I got at the local hardware store. It's for going in like picture frames and stuff, I think. But I need to get the protective covering off. I created these little wood pieces. that in place and so when it comes down that should work so I have the vacuum cleaner connected plastics ready to go my pieces are in place vacuum cleaners ready I have some wood set up around it to try to hold the heat in place my cone in place all right moment of truth Well, there's my outcome. That's what I have to work with. I think it's pretty good. And since this whole little robot is all glued together, I see no reason on not just gluing the dome into place. And I'm gonna mark either side where some of that has to come out. I'm gonna try to glue it with some CA glue but I only want to glue it to the blue section here. Mash it in there as far as I can get it. So there you have it, the Skatebot from Playtime Productions. Now I know you want to see this thing shred. Skaters say shred, right? Well, here he goes. And we'll start off and we'll move the weight to the back. That's going to make him more back heavy. So he should kick up and do wheelies more. And then if you move it a little, maybe put it in the middle or a little towards the back. You can do them. Do it this way. You can do longer wheelies. Woo! Woo! Then you move it more towards the front. Turn it on.
knew he'd end up at the skate park. So, hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. So, that was... Randy's Robot Refurbished!